Hi, I'm Stephanie Catalano, licensed clinical social worker and personal development author. Welcome to Mindful Makeover, a podcast for women who want to learn how to live mindfully, become deliberate thinkers, and align with their true essence and most authentic self. The fact that you're here with me not only tells me you're ready to begin reaching your highest potential, but also sends a powerful message to the universe. I've had an opportunity to work with hundreds of women to help them tap into their inner power and create the life they desire, and nothing makes me feel more alive than to be a witness to a person's individualized transformation and growth. If you're ready to achieve your mindful makeover and create the life you desire, then let's get started. Each episode will leave you feeling educated, empowered, and elevated. Hi everyone, welcome to the very first episode of Mindful Makeover. I am so excited to be here with you all. This is something I have truly been manifesting for quite some time now and it's here, so cheers. For the first episode, I thought I would share a little bit about me, my career experience, and what inspired Mindful Makeover. I am a true Floridian born and raised and I literally freeze in any weather below 70. I'm serious about that. (laughs) I am a woman who feels deeply and I truly have a soul on fire to help women create the life they desire. If you're wondering if I'm a poet, the answer is yes. Right after undergrad, I started working in child welfare where I had the opportunity to work with children who had been removed from their parents due to abuse, neglect, or abandonment. Talk about rewarding and challenging work. Every time I think about that past experience, I have moments where I smile because it was so beautiful at times and other times my heart still feels sad because it was so hard and challenging. After completing my master's of social work, I started to work as a primary therapist at an addictions treatment center because I knew I one day wanted to own my dream private practice. And in order to do that in Florida, you have to be licensed. So being a therapist provided me with the opportunity to gain the face-to-face clinical hours I needed to become an LCSW. I was a therapist for a few years, then I was promoted to clinical director. I actually still serve as the clinical director for a dual diagnosis treatment center, which allows me the opportunity to continue to work with those struggling with mental health and addiction. About two years ago, I made a very conscious decision to open my private practice, which I always dreamed of, Mindful Living. I created Mindful Living with the vision to help women reach their highest potential and higher consciousness. Throughout my experience, both personally and professionally, I started to observe a pattern that people weren't getting better. The people struggling with addiction quickly relapsed. The people struggling with mental health would appear well while they were under the care of the treatment center, but shortly after they would return home, they would call sharing that they were unable to manage their mental health in their own environment. And oftentimes this led them to coming back into the treatment center. I became really, really interested and what was causing people to repeat the same cycles. And it honestly resonated with me on a personal level because there was a time in my life where I struggled with anxiety and depression and I felt confused, lost, and stuck. I can also remember in a time in my life where I would repeat the same cycles and find myself repeating the same behaviors, not understanding why or how to get out of them. It all started to make sense to me though when the light bulb was turned on and I had the realization that most people, myself included at one point, are either living in the past or the future. So of course people aren't getting better. Because of this, I became so in love with learning about mindfulness, which means to live in the present moment without passing judgment. And not only did I wanna learn what mindfulness meant, I also wanted to learn what it would take to truly live and maintain a mindful life. I can remember being a little girl and I had such a love for writing. I was totally that girl who always had a diary, always kept a journal, and I even used to be pen pals with my best friend who, by the way, only lived miles down the road. (laughs) Writing always seemed to be an outlet for me, and then as I got older, I found writing to be a beautiful form of expression. I don't know if you can relate to this, but for me, writing made it easier for me to talk about my feelings and really open up. I still feel that way. To write is actually quite healing. I have three published books, and I know there are definitely more to come. The first two, Bonafide Spirit and Painted Soul, are short books filled with quotes and poems that I wrote, and my most recent book is Mindful Makeover, which actually inspired this podcast. Mindful Makeover is a 30-day workbook and guide for women. 
teaching women how to use mindfulness to create the life you desire. Within the workbook, I created a four-step formula referred to as the magic four, which consists of awareness, acceptance, accountability, and action. The magic four is basically the roadmap that leads a person to achieving a mindful makeover, which in essence is all about living a mindful life and learning how to enjoy life in the present moment. I'm sure you can relate, or maybe you are this person, either constantly dwelling on the past or worried about the future. Either way, the intent of Mindful Makeover is to truly help you gain self-awareness, accept the things that are beyond your control, explore what taking accountability looks like and feels like and how liberating it is to do so, and talk about the steps of action that will truly transform your life and empower you to create the life you've always desired. Most people have heard of mindfulness, maybe they've read a book on mindfulness, maybe they have even attended an inspiring workshop on mindfulness, all of which is super, super awesome. But in order to, to truly experience a mindful life, there is so much more to cover. So if this sounds interesting and exciting, come join me each week where we will dive deep together. I'll be sharing personal and professional stories, learnings, insights, skills, tips, wisdom, and much, much more. Thank you for joining me today. If you found today's episode to be insightful and inspiring, subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one. And I kindly ask that you please leave me a review so together we can help the next person. If interested in scheduling, coaching, counseling, public speaking, or workshops, check out www themindfulliving.com and come connect with me on Instagram at mindfulliving.now where I share daily inspiration, mindful skills, tips, and more. Mindful Makeover 30-Day Workbook and Guide for Women is available on Amazon or you can find the link on my website and in my Instagram bio. Until the next episode, stay mindful and always remember the power that lives inside of you.